Welcome to Doorway to the Paintings. It's late at night and it's definitely appropriate for another episode. And tonight I have a very interesting painting to show you. I really like this one a lot. I painted this a number of years ago and uh, it has a lot of my typical stuff that I usually put in my paintings like the column, the tree, the the light next to the tree, and over here too, the, the light next to this bush, bush or tree reflecting on the leaves. I really like doing that a lot in my paintings. And then of course the character here with kind of like an ancient looking robe, and then also this one in the background here. And then often I like to, not always, but often I like to make a blue background, like really early morning like it's really early in the morning still it's it's very late or early morning you can see the blue background and i think this painting has a lot of style and character i'm going to turn this off and save my battery for future episodes but yeah this is a painting i entitled obviously new theater it's backwards because of the the mode that the camera's in right now, but in a second I'll show you the proper angle of it. Then you have some of my typical raindrops in here. A lot of my paintings, I like a good combination of uh, realism mixed with impressionism. This is kind of in the middle. I think it has a lot of style and character, and it's got a typical kind of, to me anyway, an iconic look that you would see in a lot of my other art and there's similarities between this and a lot of other paintings that i've done i really really like it so let's get into some of the inspirations uh, behind it and uh, i'll uh, explain more about it yes new theater why did i name it new theater well there's a couple reasons one of it it's fun to think of theater in general. I mean, it's definitely connected with the, the arts and being uh, artistic in terms of crafting and in terms of putting something together, art, movie making, theatrical performances, you know, they're all part of the arts. So that's fascinating all by itself. But also, like I explained in other videos, I think New Theater is similar to uh, New Line Cinema. And if you've watched some of my other videos in the past, you would know that uh, I was influenced quite a bit by uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. And at the beginning, throughout the whole movie, really, but at the beginning, before the movie started, uh, New Line Cinema... Uh, the logo would come on, the red and black. Sequentially, you would see New Line Cinema turn red and black. It started out with a red line on a black background, and then there would be multiple red lines. And pretty soon, New Line Cinema would appear, and it would sequentially turn black and red. And for some reason, that stuck with me and left an impression on me and many other parts of the movie Nightmare on Elm Street. But as far as this painting goes, the only part that uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street played in this painting was pretty much just the new theater, the new theater title. The rest of it is pretty much my own, kind of being inspired by ancient Greece, ancient Rome. They had columns and pillars and the robes that you see the characters wearing were kind of inspired by that. But also Halloween 1, uh, the scene at the beginning of Halloween 1 where the patients were in the courtyard and Dr. Loomis was being driven by the nurse up to the clinic. And then the music started. There was thunder and lightning. It was really interesting. And... Uh, the uh, patients were in the courtyard and it was dark and rainy and they had their white, their, their white patient uh, uh, uniforms on. Not uniforms, but you know, they were dressed like patients in white. 
Well, that's also kind of an inspiration behind these white robes, too. So there's bits and pieces from different movies that inspired my art. I really like this painting. I like the blue background. There's mountains. You see the silhouette of trees. And then you got the lights that illuminate leaves as well as branches. You have the raindrops. You have the characters that look pretty interesting and unique. And this character is kind of an interesting position. It's actually one of my favorite paintings. I really like this. I also like the roots of the trees here in my paintings. I like to show roots from trees kind of going into the water. This is really a painting that I like quite a bit because it's got a lot of elements that I appreciate and I find very fascinating. The pillar, I've always been kind of fascinated by pillars, columns, rain, trees, street lights. As you explore more of my paintings and my art, you'll see that's a constant theme in uh, a lot of my paintings, not all of them. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this one with me. I, uh, I enjoyed it, looking back at it. It's been a few years since I've done this. And uh, if you like this kind of content, you know, like and subscribe, please. And uh, you'll get notifications when a new video comes out, when it's time for another edition of Doorway to the Paintings, late at night, past the witching hour. <laughs> and uh, it's always fun. And uh, one more look. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Have a good night.